our text, Colossians 3 verse 24. For you know that from the Lord you will receive the reward of the inheritance. Our heading, serve the Lord Christ. He that comes to God must believe that he is. Note the key word, must. It is an immovable, insatiable necessity. Before we can walk with God, it is clear that we must come to God. Naturally, that is now by natural birth, we are at a distance from Him, and we must end that distance by coming to Him, or else we cannot walk with Him nor be pleasing to Him. First, we must believe that He is the rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. How do we seek Him then? Well, we seek Him first when we begin by prayer, by trusting to Jesus, and by calling upon the sacred name, to seek salvation. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That is a grand promise, and it teaches how to come to God, namely, by calling upon His name. Afterwards, we see God by aiming at His glory by making him the great object for which we live. One man seeks money, another seeks reputation, another seeks pleasure, but he that is pleasing to God seeks God as his object and end. Didn't Jesus say, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. Second, do I, as a believer, live to please God? Well, we need personal heart searching on this point. Everyone for himself. The believer in the invisible God delights to act as in his sight and in secret to serve him. If you once learn to believe God, to trust in him, to please him, you are coming to him day by day. You not only come to him and to then go away from him as in acts of prayer and prayers and go to church. But you are always coming. Your life is a march towards him. The way of the believer is towards God. By his faith he ever comes nearer and yet nearer to the eternal throne. Application. What is this reward? Why, he that sits on the throne will say, Come, you blessed of my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Come, and I pray, Father God, grant us never to stop coming. In Jesus' name, Amen.